Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a really terrific box of stuff featuring the Boston Symphony Chamber Players. Isn't it amazing how these boxes come out? I mean, this is not something that you think is going to be overwhelmingly popular. Um, and, you know, RCA has a lot of other things they could be doing, like, you know, the complete Joplin piano music with Dick Hyman. I mean, come on. Why would you? You know, stuff that we've been waiting for for centuries. And then out pops this little sucker. It's a real collector's item. Really splendid stuff. It's 10 discs of amazingly fabulously played chamber music and a lot of interesting repertoire. So I'm going to take you through the 10 CDs. You know, the Boston Symphony Chamber Players are best known actually not for their RCA recordings because those all got deleted and they've been out of print for a zillion years. It's their Deutsche Grammophon recordings that we know. You know, they did that second Viennese school, you know, Schoenberg arrangements of like Strauss Waltz disc. And then they have that fabulous disc of DBC chamber music. But they didn't do a lot for Deutsche Grammophon. They also did some work, I believe, on non suches if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, which would be nice to have back as well. But here it is. Ten discs. The complete RCA album from 1964 to 68. Now, the Boston Symphony Chamber Players were actually founded to give the Boston Symphony first chair players something to do um, because they weren't getting paid for Boston Pops concerts because the Boston Pops is the Boston Symphony without the first chair players. They were free to go do other things. And so Erich Leinsdorf, who was the conductor then, um, actually came up with the idea of having a chamber music grouping, which of course a lot of European orchestras already had. You know, you've got the Vienna Philharmonic Octet or whatever, or the Berlin Philharmonic Sextet or Duo Dectet or whatever. You know, you've got all these, the Leipzig, Quartet, Gewandhaus thing, you know, they, they, they do that there. And so doing it here made a lot of sense because these are wonderful players. My God, they're the best. So here we have it. Um, amazing, amazing stuff. And let's just, let me just tell you what's on here because you will want this. Chances are you will. First, Mozart, the flute quartet, um, number one. And let's see, that's with Doriot Anthony Dwyer is the flute player in this stuff. Joseph Silverstein, the violinist, the great concert master. Uh, Burton Fine, viola, who was wonderful. And Jules Eskin, cello. These are really, you may not know these names now, but they are major, major, major players on their instrument. And then we've got the Mozart Oboe Quartet in F major, Crucial 370, with Ralph Gomberg, one of the great oboists in the history of oboosity. He really is. And the Brahms, uh, let's see, what's this? The third piano quartet with Claude Frank playing the piano. Claude Frank. Claude Frank is fabulous. He made a great Beethoven cycle. He was a schnabel pupil. He could really play the piano. His daughter, Pamela Frank, you know, as a violinist, is also rather well known. So we have those people. Then we've got the Beethoven Serenade for flute, violin, and viola. And I've mentioned who's in there, so we don't need to do it. With Irving Fine's Fantasy for String Trio. Well, that's interesting. And, and Aaron Copeland's Trio Vitebsk, which is nifty, again with Claude Frank. And the Elliot Carter Woodwind Quintet. Who else is in there now? Uh, Gino Choffi, clarinet, Sherman Walt Bassoon, or wait, wait a minute. Walt, yes, excuse me. And James Stagliano, horn. They're all wonderful. Then the Piston Divertimento for nine instruments with nine people. I mean, the only one that you probably didn't know. Well, let's see. Alfred Cripps is one of the violins, and Georges Molleux is the double bassist. We're already up to disc three. We have the Mozart Piano Quartets. Are they both of them? No. The G minor one, Kerschel uh, 678. Yeah, oh, the print is so tiny. Oh, my goodness. Again, with Claude Frank and, and the usual uh, suspects. And the Piano and Wind Quintet by Mozart in E-flat major. Oh, that's such a lovely work. I just adore that thing. It's so much fun. And let's see, the Brahms E-flat trio, opus 40, piano trio. Um, and, oh, that's the horn trio. What am I saying? It's the horn trio with Joseph Stagliano and Silverstein and Frank. And the, the Schubert, uh, the one movement sort of incomplete early, early trio fragment with the early trio fragment people, the delicious 
delicious, I mean yummy, Poulenc Trio for piano, oboe, and bassoon, one of the most delightful pieces of music ever conceived by the human mind. And then Alexei Hayef, his three bagatelles for oboe and bassoon. I'll bet you don't have a lot of Hayef in your collection. That's H-A-I-E-F-F. -F. Really cool. Okay, Villa Lobos, Bachianos Brasileiras, number six. That's for flute and bassoon. And it's just delightful. And Michael Colgrass, variations for four drums and viola. You know, he was one of those sort of third wave classical jazz fusion type people. Um, and that's quite a piece. Variations for four drums at viola with Vic Firth, the timpanist. You got to hear him play the drums. Vic Firth was was one of the all-time greats. <clears throat> I mean, he, he founded this enormous instrument you know, drumstick and equipment company, um, at, you know, during his tenure in Boston, and he's famous for that stuff, too. I have some Vic Firths, you know, there's great stuff. Okay, the Schubert Trout Quintet with Richard Good at the piano and the other suspects. Richard Good, I mean, Claude Frank, Richard Good, does it get better than that? No, it doesn't. Uh, the Brahms First Piano Trio uh, with Richard Good, the Poulenc Sextet, oh, God, what a wonderful work that is. I adore that piece. It's so much fun. Uh, the Webern Concerto for Flute, Oboe, Clarinet, Horn, Trumpet, Trombone, Violin, Viola, and Piano. And we have some new people. We have Armando Guitala, Trumpet, and William Gibson, Trombone, and the usual suspects. Martin Hughes Nanette, one of the all-time great neoclassical confections of the 1950s if you want to be specific about it, like 1959 or somewhere around there, just the year of Martin Hughes' death. It's a delicious work. Oh, what a lovely performance this is. And it also has Henry Portnoy on the double bass, along with the usual suspects. And Ingolf Dahl, his duet concertant for flute and percussion with Dorian Anthony Dwyer and Vic Firth, Everett Firth, pardon me, but everyone called him Vic Firth. I mean, no one called him Everett. It was Vic. Is that it? No. We're on disc eight. Eight. Oh, thank God there's more. The Schubert B-flat trio. One of the biggies. Yeah, one of the big ones. D8 something something. 898. There we go. Mio's Pastoral. And Hindemith's Kleine Kammermusik for wind quintet. It's a wind quintet, the Kleine Kammermusik, actually. Um, and let's see, disc nine. The Spohr Nonet which is actually a good piece. I mean, Schwarz was such a bad composer, but, but in these sort of, you know, interestingly effulgent chamber works, he could be a lot of fun, and he is there. Um, Wilson Coker, his concertino for bassoon and string trio to put in your Wilson Coker collection. Samuel Barber's Summer Music, another lovely wind quintet, beautiful, beautiful work. And finally, uh, CD10, Chamber Music Discussion, with musical illustrations. This is, this is a discussion amongst the various players with excerpts from their recordings. Um, and the, the narrator or you know, host of the whole thing is Peter Ustinov, along with Eric Leinsdorf. I mean, these were like music appreciation sort of education type things with excerpts and stuff like that. And there's a survey of chamber music and all kinds of fun stuff. It's actually just delightful. Delightful. And that's it. Ten discs of absolutely marvelous chamber music played by absolutely wonderful soloists with the very, very highest standards, pellucidly recorded, lovely reissue, and it's going to be in print probably as long as it takes you to watch this video. So I would go and grab it right away if I were you, if this interests you, if this kind of repertoire interests you. It's the Boston Symphony Chamber Players. Marvelous stuff. First class. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.